Greetings. This is the Wednesday of Easter week, and if you were reading the lectionary selections for today, you would come across a reading from Acts, and the story that we read in Acts this morning is about the miracle wrought by Peter and John at the gate in Jerusalem not long after Jesus' resurrection. It's where they encounter a lame man who's looking for gold or silver. And yet Peter and John say to him that they don't have any money. But what they do have, they'll give him. And what they give him is the gift of healing. And the man's lameness is healed and he gets up and walks around. And so we see here the continuation of Jesus' ministry within the church. We see the continuation of grace and love and healing and hope being offered to the church by its followers. Last Sunday was Easter, not the kind of Easter most of us had anticipated some months ago. Easter for me would always seem to be like a combination of graduation day, birthday, uh, viewing the newborn child for the first time, seeing your child graduate from college, all these celebrations wrapped up together into one great enormous package of joy and celebration. And we just did not have that. Yes, we had worship services on TV. We had worship services online. We had music in places. But we weren't together. We weren't in that community. We were separated by time and space, joined together by electronics. And for me, it just wasn't quite the same. And yet, Jesus is still resurrected. Jesus is still risen from the grave. It still happened. It's true. And in the story from Acts this day, we see that the ministry of the church goes on. And it goes on and on and on. We had a great time planning and putting together online services. I've watched so many different things and so many offerings and so many imaginary, uh, imaginative ways to get the word out to the people through the electronic means. I've watched services done online. I've watched live stream offices of morning or evening prayer in Compline. I've seen Stations of the Cross done online, and we did Stations of the Cross online here at St. Stephen's. And so we have, we have discovered a, a way to use technology. But we have to understand that this is a tool, and this is something we're using now in an interim. And while we may continue to use this technology in the future, I don't think it will ever replace us coming together face-to-face -to -face in community next to each other uh, for the Eucharist and for worship and prayer and praise. As a matter of fact, this afternoon I'm going to be involved with a, a, a Zoom meeting with a number of clergy out west to talk about, yes, you know, how can we continue to use modern technology in a new normal situation in the church? How will we be able to use technology uh, to, continue, uh, to continue our ministry to the church and in the church and through the church? And I think there are ways it can be done and, and we have to work on that, I think, and, and find ways to make it work. Realizing that I don't think it will ever replace the community. Now, we did a great job, I thought, at St. Stephen's during Holy Week and Easter. We, we had services, we had participation, we had involvement. Uh, I'm told by Vera that we had a lot of people you know, log in and watch the services, either on YouTube or on Facebook or some other way. Uh, and that's encouraging and that's heartening. And, and I'm glad that people are out there. And we've had letters and emails and calls about say, people saying, that they're so glad we did this and, and, and it helps them to get through this time of quarantine. But all this does not happen on its own. It takes a lot of people uh, doing a lot of things. And so today, I'd like to recognize a, a lot of the uh, people that we haven't seen too much of or, or are doing some work behind the scenes at the church. Uh, let's begin with, with Vera down the hall, uh, who's the parish administrator. I mean, 
she is she is the the communication nexus right now for the church. Well, the, even though the church is closed, Vera comes into the office each day, and she's here to uh, maintain communication, to answer the phone, to pass messages back and forth that need to be done, and, and to and to kind of keep her pulse on on what's going on in the parish while we're not really open, at least physically. And so a shout out to Vera who, who shows up every day to do this and she does an outstanding job with it. I'd like to, to, to thank and give credit for uh, to, to uh, Ashley and Ben Winters, our music people, or two of our music people. And, and they and I have put together the, the worship services and they provide the music part. And so they have worked, they have worked, you know, uh, very hard on this to, to do the best job they can. And, and music they did at the Easter service and music they did for Good Friday was just tremendous. And, and so they're putting forth a lot of time and energy and effort into this. And, and it's great. And they're doing a wonderful job. And, and Aubrey Watson, who comes in from time to time, who is the church organist, comes in to, to uh, record organ pieces that get put, put into the program for, for that. So thank you, Aubrey, for taking the time to come to the church and, and do that. Um, another thing that we see uh, going on is, is Julia Hart's uh, uh, taping and replay of, of Sunday school programs for children on Sunday morning. And, and Julia does an outstanding job. She, she engages the children. She brings them in. She tells the stories. Uh, she explains things to them. Sometimes Ashley joins Julia and, and they do songs from Vacation Bible School and things like this. And I've got to tell you, uh, watching Julia on Sunday morning with the children's program is, is actually one of my wife's favorite things to watch on Sunday morning as far as church TV goes. She thinks it just does a beautiful, outstanding job for this. So thank you, Julia. Uh, we want to thank Sydney and Matthew who, 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 who run the youth group and they're maintaining contact with the youth group through electronic means and, and uh, and so they're maintaining that youth group community at St. Stephen's. And hopefully once we're able to come back together in person, they can be able to pick up where they left off and just keep on going in some sort of seamless ministry to the youth of this church. I'd like to single out as, as the vestry as well and, and the and Eucharistic visitors who've done such a wonderful job of, of communicating with the people in the parish. We, we try to do this intentionally. That we, we touch base with people in the church on an ongoing basis. If for another reason to say, hi, how are you doing? You're getting along all right. Is there anything we can do for you? Anything we can help you with in some way? Feel free to give us a call. So the, these people are stepping forward. They're stepping up to, to work through their calling as Christian ministers at St. Stephen. I got tickled last Wednesday when I was leaving the office. Um, a car pulled into the parking lot, and then another, and another. And it was it was the weekly prayer group. And, and I said, um, what are you here for? And I said, well, we, we've got to meet together to pray. And I looked at it and said, yeah, we can't go in the building, but we can do it in the parking lot. And I think, I think that's dedication. I think that's commitment for these people to come together it was a nice day, and, and I don't know if they got out of their cars or not, but they gathered together to pray in the parking lot of the church. That is just another sign of the commitment of our people to the ministry and ongoing ministry of this parish, because I know that they were praying for the church, they were praying for the people in the church, they were praying uh, for those who are afflicted by the COVID virus. I know that they, they're doing their, their part to stay connected to God and to, and to keep our, our, our names and our deeds before God as well. So all this goes on every week here at St. Stephen's, and, and we are we are a great congregation. We have a lot of people stepping forward. Uh, we may not be, you know, have a, uh, causing the lame to walk as Peter and John did at that miracle in Jerusalem right after the resurrection, but we are sharing God's love with each other. We are engaging in our ministry as Christians one to the other. We are reaching out in so many ways to say we care about you. Can we do something for you? And that is what it means to be the community of Christ here at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church. That is what it means to be caring for one another. That is our ministry. This is our outreach. This is our reason for coming together. 
So until that day that we can come back and fill the pews on Sunday morning, until that day when the prayer group can once again convene in the fireside room, uh, once again to that day when the youth can gather here and do whatever the youth group does, when our kids can come together for Sunday school and Julia can sit down with them and read these stories in person. Until that time happens, let's remember we, there, we have a, a lot of great things going on here. Let's be thankful for what we've got in this parish, in this church, and be thankful for the men and women who are willing to, to put themselves out there as Christian ministers to, to continue on the ministry of this church in so many ways. Because in this way, we are living into the Great Commission. We are going forth to celebrate the story of Jesus and to invite others to join us and celebrate with us as well. So to all those who put forth such an effort, we give you a, a sincere and heartfelt thanks for all that you've done for us. And we hope that you will continue on. And we hope the rest of you, in, in, in any way you can, small or great, either by simply keeping us in your prayers Remembering to keep your pledge up to date, uh, dropping us notes or emails saying, hey, thanks for what you do. Uh, we appreciate those things. But it's just another sign of the community of love and, and hope and expectation and caring that exists here at St. Stephen's. And this is the, this is the community nature we need, need to nurture and continue on and to spread far and wide. So this day... Wishing you a happy Easter week. Wishing you good health, stay safe, and God's blessing be upon you and yours.